there. IFR is indoor fan relay. Here it is right here, indoor fan relay. Remember I said relays are difficult because they are scattered in the schematic. Well, look at this. Let's see, we have indoor fan relay right there. Where else is it? Let's see if there's another one here. Nope, that's it. That's it for that. Here's our contactor, M. Where is that? That's the coil. These are the round symbol. Remember, those are the coils. Now we have to find the contacts for M. So you got to go through here and start to look. And, oh, there's there's one of contact from the uh, contactor. And here's the other. Normally open contacts. When power is applied to the coil, those close. Clean this up a bit. Okay, let's look at high and low pressure switch, HP and LP. So you look through here. Oh, there they are right there. HP, LP, normally closed. If the pressure increases, it's going to break that switch. If the pressure decreases, it's going to break this switch. So these are our safeties here. So you will have, depending on the complexity of the schematic diagram, you're going to have uh, legends could be very big. See if we can ad identify a few other things. Here is a uh, temperature, close on temperature rise switch. Oh, overloads. We'll have to get, we'll, we'll talk about overload on the next. No, we can talk about that right now. Overloads. Usually the overloads are inside the, equipment these this symbol right here so it looks like a little shepherd's hook deal Let's see if i can draw that like that these are overloads and they these will break when you get too much current going through there that again i think this this is a very difficult one to picture but when the current flows through there, it, it heats up those contacts and those, those, those um, hooks there, the uh, shepherd's hook looking thing, you just have to picture those contracting away from each other and breaking the circuit when they get too hot. Great words for technical, right? Shepherd hook looking things, but you get the picture.